What is up, MC Review? It's your girl, Chloe. And I am back with another YouTube video. And if you couldn't tell by that title, we are doing a Step It Up Hot Water Review. So without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, y'all. Did y'all see that episode? Banger! It was just boom, boom bomb bomb after another one and i'm like oh my goodness first off <sighs> angel and odaly finally officially kissed each other right after the performance davis is there like the whole time when they kiss it i'm over here like where is davis where is Davis? Like, they got off the stage. Oh, they, oh, I'm literally, here go Angel. I'm literally shaking. Da -da -da. She doing all that. And then they just kissed. And I'm like, where is Davis? He just got done performing for Odalie, making a song for her. Talking about, I don't, I don't even remember how the song went, but it was a good song. And she over here smooching with Angel. When I tell you she don't deserve Davis, she for the streets. All these women really for the streets. Same with Miss Claudette. Miss Jones. She trifling. But let's hop into everything that happened. So let's start from the beginning. We pick up where we left off in the last episode. Um, Claudette is like, put me on the stand, put me on the stand. He like, if what, what do you got? Like, I can't just put you on the stand. What do you got? Boom. The uh, prosecutor, she was like, I have uh, one final witness. Marquise. Marquise come up there. She's questioning him. And everybody's looking like shocked. Like, what's going to happen? Like, how is this going to play out? She was asking him questions about uh, Easto. Back when they used to work together. And then she asked him all these questions. And then she had asked him this one question. And he was like, if you're asking me, do I think Sage did it? No. And everybody looking like, and then she's looking like, what? Like, I did not put you on this stand for you to be like, Sage didn't do it. I'm trying to get Sage locked up. I really don't know what's her gripe with Sage. I'm really confused. Like, why does she want Sage so bad? Like, you're supposed to be the prosecutor. Go for the real person. Oh, he was like, no, I don't think Sage did it. Sage, Sage, he ain't, he ain't like that. And that ain't even Sage gun. That's Easto gun. So, boom, that's making Sage look even better. Like, okay, that's what I said. That's not my gun. This is Easto gun. Marquise was there when the gun was given to um Easto. So the prosecutor, she gets mad. And Marquise basically is just like, uh, I was watching Sage that night because me and Easto were gonna kill him. And then she's like, Yo, you know, you can get off the stand. Like, no, you're you're messing up my case. So then Sage lawyer comes up and he's like, Okay, just to make sure this is Sage, this is not Sage gun, and you seen Sage that night, didn't you? And then he was like, Yeah. And boom, they go to the back because some stuff, some fishy stuff was just going on. And they was talking to the judge and the judge, you know, she found out that the prosecutor was being, she was tampering with the uh, witness. She was threatening him to send him back to jail. Fast forward off of that, Rico is mad at Marquise because I don't know why Marquise wanted Sage to go down so bad again. I don't know what the gripe is with Sage. Is it because he's so amazing? Is it because you just can't stand him because he's just that good? Mar Rico was just a mess. I don't like Rico, especially after he didn't slept with uh, Miss Claudette. Definitely don't like Rico. No, I haven't liked Rico since a long time the fact that he even back with poppy and first of all poppy don't even deserve him if you go back to what i said in my first hot water review poppy rico don't want no poppy he just didn't want to see poppy move on he just holding on to her like let her go free poppy free poppy but poppy dumb and stupid and she deserves she deserves that and i'm glad dondre ain't in this season because she just would have been hurting dondre sage is free finally because my man didn't do nothing it was claudette and she over here literally sitting here watching him go through this mess and i if marquise never would have stepped up I really want to know what would have happened to Sage. Like, would she let him go down for that? 
would she open her mouth and be like i did it because i don't know if she would have told that she did it if she got up on that stand i really think she just would have been bsing some more we get to see angel and odaly and angel she's just like rehearsing practicing trying to get her dance moves on because she knows sage is out and she was never originally originally on the tour so she need to figure out what she's gonna do next so orderly she's getting a little butt hurt sad like what we're doing so good out here da, da, da. orderly get on my nerves like orderly gives very much weird i don't know I, it's just something about orderly that it just don't sit right in my spirit like she's weird she's weird we get to see rico and he's upset he is mad like sage is back so the base the tour that uh, rico was gonna have is basically gone like only show he's gonna have is chicago and he don't even want to perform and do that because his opener dropped out on him so the only person who's gonna be opening and performing is rico but they end up getting davis to open up for rico so it's not just rico opening and performing rico uh he he having his little tantrum he gets mad at his house he leaves the house and he ends up going to hot water and he's in Claudette's office or whatever. And basically, he over here, he over here trying to flirt with her. And here go Claudette, like, did nothing happen between us. Woo woo. Rico kind of got a little salty, like, all right. And he over here, like, yeah, I made you do that four times. And I'm like, trifling. Hold up. And I also forgot to tell y'all when Sage got out of jail. So you know him and Claudette, they went home or whatever. So I'm guessing Sage, he done clapped them cheeks or whatever. And she, I'm just like, she is just trifling. Like, how you literally gonna sleep with Rico the day before and then the next day Sage get out and you lay in the bed with Sage? That's some whole shit if I've ever seen it. Like, no. I hope that Claudette gets arrested she don't deserve to be free no i don't like claudette she trifling she stink and she trifling she for the streets she for the team she's just sleeping around with anybody that's moving at this rate sage come back to hot water everybody's clapping it up for him everybody cheering for him doing all that poppy of course she seemed a little salty like she don't want him to come back i mean she left his tour stupid of her to do that because why would you put your faith in rico it's rico I wouldn't do that either. But Odile ends up having a meeting with this white dude or whatever. Um, and he's talking about Spartaca with her. And she's going to have like a 24-hour photo shoot. And Odile is basically trying to pitch to him like, hey, you know this girl I've been dancing with um, lately. Um, Angel, let's, like, let her be included. Like, let her be a Spartaca girl. Like, we're blowing up. You know, we live together. This would be good. So she ends up going home and she tells Odalie, I mean, she tells Angel, I got you a deal with Spartaca and you're now going to be a Spartaca girl so you can stay. Odalie is, is a mess. It's like, did you even fight this hard for Davis? She fighting harder for uh, Angel than Davis. Ugh. Anyway, Marquise now he's on the run because technically he snitched or whatever. I don't feel like what Marquise did was snitching. If anything, he was just telling what he knew. Same thing Rico did. I don't really see the difference. But I guess because he helped Sage get out or he just spoke his truth, that's snitching. So if that's snitching, child, we all some snitches. But anyway, Marquise, he's on the run. And Rico, he has to perform um for the chicago tour but his main song that he made the diss to sage he can't perform well he can perform but people gonna it's gonna look stupid of him because it's like sage didn't do it so claudette told him you need to come up with another song you need to come up with another song and hold up let me rewind a little bit. Let me rewind. Because I almost skipped over this. Did y'all see the little tension between Poppy and Claudette? And Rico? Oh, Rico? Rico? Oh, my goodness. No. But it's like Claudette. You have a whole man, Sage. And you over here literally messing around and taunting this little girl, Poppy. Okay? 
Like, what? And here go Poppy when she leaving out. Baby, I love you and I believe in you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. And then, ugh, child, it's just like, and then here go, here go Claudia. Yeah, I'm a woman. And, you know, I can do other stuff for Rico. But she said some mess to that effect. Like, Claudia, like, what? And here go Rico. Whoa, whoa, I'm still up in here. Y'all need to chill. They was getting a little catty. I'm not even going to lie. So Claudia told him, you need to make a song. Rico is at home. He's trying to think of something. He's just rapping. He's smoking. He's doing other stuff. And nothing, nothing's coming to him. And then he looks over and he sees Marquis' notebook. So he starts picking it up, reading it. He gets on the mic and he just starts rapping. Rapping the stuff that Marquis never wrote. King hears him and he's like, hey, I didn't think you had it in him. I find it funny. Everybody who literally heard this song from Rico... Nobody thought Rico could do it. Nobody thought Rico had it in him. Like, don't nobody really believe in Rico. I'm starting to see, at least from this episode, because people were really shocked. Like, Rico, you came up with this? I didn't think you could come up with something like this. And we already know who's behind Rico. Marquise. Marquise. Rico didn't blow up until Marquise came into the picture for real. He started writing for him. Now, we already know Rico had his song, Old Man. That was cute. Like, like Claudette said, that was cute. That's kid stuff. But he didn't blow up until Marquis started like writing for him for real, for real. Um, King over here like, oh, oh, let me put a, let me put a beat over there. Like how you came up with that? Woo -woo. And then he over here like, yo, I got Marquis book. King don't want Rico to steal Marquis's stuff because Sage has stole his beats before. And he's trying to tell him like, I know how that feels. Like you don't feel good. Rico, he was over here like, King, you didn't deserve that. Marquis deserved this. Like he owe me. So King just like, oh, whatever. So they end up recording the song. And Rico ends up sitting, sending the track over to Poppy and Tao. And they're um performing. They're trying to work on like dances to choreograph real quick for them. Poppy be going so hard for Rico. Like, I swear, the lengths and the extent that she goes to for uh Rico is crazy. This is the day of the show. And uh Claudette she's leaving she's packing up getting ready to leave for Chicago and Sage like where are you going and then she's like to Chicago and then Sage over here like what you going to Chicago for like what, what you doing Claudette over here talking about you know Sage I've been doing a lot for you um this like this tour wouldn't even be happening if it wasn't for Rico I turned him into a star overnight for you uh she just saying all of this stuff she getting into sage like and it's like i would sit up here and agree with claudette but at the same time claudette she's trifling i don't like claudette like no it's like when you hear her talk it's like it's annoying it's honestly annoying because it's like you over here sleeping with this dude you shady you talking about all this stuff woo woo, -woo. Mind you, she had some points when she was talking about Sage, but it's like it wasn't hitting on nothing because you ain't nothing. Because you cheated on him. And it's just like, no. Finally get to see Davis because he hasn't even been in this series the whole time. He's been loosely mentioned, but he hasn't been, we haven't really been seeing him. When we see Davis, Angel is like so jealous of Odalee and Davis. She over here looking like, oh my God, whatever. She do not like them together. Like, she likes Odalie. It's clear they, they both like each other. I mean, if Marquise was still in the picture, Angel would not care as much about Odalie and Davis. Because she'll be so wrapped up, gung -ho, over Marquise. But now they both, now um Angel don't have Marquise no more. So I guess she gung -ho over uh, Odalie. I get to see Rico performing. He's doing good. He's killing his performance. And that's one thing I can't. I can't like shit on with uh Rico's performance. He kills it. He does a good job. Like he got that performing, that good performance ability. So in the middle of um uh, Rico performing, Sage pulls up. So I guess he's coming to support Claudette, just dropping in and trying to surprise her. Like, hey, I heard you. I'm listening to you. I'm trying to be there for you. Ooh. So he's just sitting there and he's watching the uh concert from like in this skybox. And you know, he like, mm. and then, you know, Sage, I mean, Rico, he started performing that diss song. Sage, he, you could tell he was a little bothered, upset. So the end of the, uh, the concert comes. This is where it starts to get like spicy for real, for real. So 
Brico over here talking about, you know, I want to thank this special lady. I wouldn't have been able to do it without her. And mind you, they got the camera, the camera, the cameraman, Shady. They got the, they got it pointed on um on Poppy. Then they got it going to uh they got it going to uh what's what's her name? They got it going to Claudette. Mm. And Poppy, she over here getting happy thinking that uh Rico about to bring her out and he talking about her. No. He was talking about Claudette. And mind you, at the same time, Sage is there. So he's seeing all of this. Okay. Boom. She gets upset. She get mad. Uh Rico brings Claudette onto the stage and they start singing their song. Ain't no telling your story without me. They start singing that mess. Sage gets mad poppy gets mad it's like oh my goodness in my head i'm thinking does does uh sage know that they slept with each other poppy she looked like she knew that they slept together like this dude he been lying to me he playing with me so that ends sage he throws the flowers he leaves the uh concert poppy she gets mad everything is over rico get off stage and he like yo poppy we did it she slapped the dog out of that dude she slapped the mess out of him she was not playing with him like get out of my face she said stay away from me do not talk to me leave me alone like you was trifling so she knew what she knew what didn't happen she can already tell by the vibes like sometimes you just can't ignore the vibes and, and the energy that people are giving like it's something between y'all so like I already said, I already done told y'all Odalie and Aunt Angel kissed right after that performance. And the episode ends. <sighs> Hot water. This episode was crazy. Crazy. And I cannot wait to see what's going to happen next episode. I also like to give a shout out to Big Red in the comments. Thank you for loving and supporting the channel really appreciate it but y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe i'm not this thing